Today we'll be speaking about the Source 3000. It's a, a unit where you uh, basically be able to take it on site for uh, utilizing for uh, a source pressure for doing calibrations. Um, what's nice about it is you can use anybody's handheld uh, device as the calibration. This is an all mechanical device, so the source is not to miss traceability, but your handheld device would be. How it operates is we have an internal nitrogen cylinder. You'd fill it back up at uh, your shop or at your facility. You're then able to take it on site to do your calibrations, whether it be for pressure switches, uh, possibly for analog gauges, digital gauges, transducers, transmitters, anything that really you need to uh, verify or calibrate that has to do with the uh, pressure. Uh, the way it operates with the nitrogen cylinder inside is we have a regulator. Again, it, this is a Conduct Reg 3000, and we have, uh, you can also purchase it separately. What that does is that's going to regulate your output pressure to your device under test so that, that it's protected from overpressuring. There's also an internal uh, pressure uh, burst disc to also protect uh, from, from any errors occurring. And what you would do to, to get yourself set up would be you would have a handheld or a, a gauge. You would use that as your calibration device. And you're going to have a regulator which is going to regulate the output pressure going to your test ports. You're going to have an Orion valve system that's going to have your first adjustment, your vernier, and your vent valve. You'll have two analog gauges. One will be tied into your regulator, which will be showing you your supply pressure and your pressure limit monitor gauge, which will then uh, show you what your pressure coming from the cylinder and going to the device under test, again, for the protection side of things. Um, how you would operate it was you'd have two ports. That on one port will, will have your handheld or your gauge. Your second port would then be used to go to your device under test of what you're actually calibrating. There is no uh, nitrogen in this particular unit, um, but our demonstration, uh, I will go through that with you. Whatever device you're using as your handheld, you would turn it on, let it warm up, and depending on what the manufacturer suggests that you do. In this case here, we're using a Condac 3030, which again is another one of our products having two ports, so you could have a high and a low port. So what we would do is open up our vent valve, and again, we don't have this connected to a device under test, so we have to look at it as if it is. We'd open up our vent valve, we would zero out our unit, and this is reading uh, right now in inches of water, and this hasn't had uh, a proper warm-up at this point. So we're going to zero it out. What we would do then is close our bed valve. Now this is used as a closed system. It's not used for flow, so everything has to be set up so that there are no leaks in the system. Once you've closed your bed valve, what you would do is, let's say you're doing a 10-point calibration. Coming up towards full scale, what you're going to want to do is use your course adjustment to come reasonably close to what your target pressure is going to be. At that point, you would close the course adjustment valve and utilize the vernier to bring it right to your point. And what this allows you to do then is to be very precise and accurate so that you don't overshoot your target value. And in doing so, you would, uh, if you had overshot your target value, of course, now you're, you're uh, adding into it some error factor that you wouldn't want to be doing. And basically, it's a very simple uh, unit. Anybody can learn to, to operate in 20 minutes or maybe even less than that. Once you have went to full scale and you wanted to come back down doing your hysteresis, you would reverse the process. Instead of using your course adjustment, you would use your vent valve and bleed off the nitrogen until you come a little bit above what your target pressure is. Lock down your valve and then again dial in using your vernier to reach your target value coming back downward on the scale. Again, if you, there are any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call, and we'll send you uh, literature sheets or whatever we 